This is basically like a regular triple lumen um, kit. Um, you're going to have, this is your primary um, IC catheter. You have triple lumen access. You have a distal, proximal, and a medial port. These two teal ports are what you're actually going to be attaching to the machine. These two teal ports, it has a male and female connection here. Um, the rest of the of the catheter you would use just like you would a regular triple lumen. It is a 9.3 French catheter. Okay, you have a distal, medial, and proximal port just like you would any other triple lumen. And you have these three balloons that the saline circulates through a closed loop system um, when it's inserted into the femoral um, vein. So in your kit, you have gauze, you have your suture, you have your scalpel, okay, two guide wires. Um, these are basically identical, um, but if you were to drop one or something was to happen to one of them, you have an additional guide wire there, and you have a 10 French dilator, okay, and you have your lidocaine and your access needles. So just like you would, you're going to anesthetize the area um, with your lidocaine. Um, you're going to get access to um, the vein um, with your needle. You would then thread your guide wire through the needle. Um, at this point, you then want to possibly put a little nick into the skin. Take your 10 French dilator, pass it over the guide wire, dilate the area. You want to be fairly aggressive um, with your dilation. Um, you're going from the guide wire to um, a basically a 9.3 French catheter. When it comes um, out, this will have a protective cover over it. Um, you basically want to keep that protective cover on it right before you go to um, um, thread your triple lumen over the guide wire. So after dilation, you would then leave the wire, making sure to hold on to the guide wire, remove your dilator. Then you want to remove the cap over the distal port. And basically, you know, from the end, you would thread easier from the other side, but you would just thread through the distal port, you know, put it down past 30 centimeters here, okay, and then you would suture into the skin as you would any normal triple lumen. Um, they're included in the patch, you don't see it here, but each patch comes with a bio patch. Um, it also comes with um, a chloroprep. So you can prep the skin prior to that. Um, once it sutures into the skin, um, you're going to have these two teal ports, which will be attached to the machine. It's always labeled not for human use. It also has the two LCS tags on it. And then these three you would use just like a regular normal triple lumen. The only contraindication to this triple lumen is that you may not want to use mannitol in there during the cooling process because that would crystallize. Okay. Um, that's the only true contraindication. You also don't want to um, have a pressurized um, dye load through this. Um, if the patient needs to go to CT scan, this is MRI CT compatible. Um, but if they need to give um, a dye load for a CT angio, um, it will not um, withstand the 30, 300 um, millimeters of pressure from um, the CT injector. Just to repeat, you cannot use the teal ports for medication use. This no, the, for this is strictly for the cool guard machine. Um, the saline goes in, it circulates through the catheter um, in a closed loop circuit and comes out the other side. Okay. These medial, proximal, and distal ports you would use just like a regular triple lumen catheter. So any contraindication that you would have for this femoral, um, any femoral triple lumen is the same contraindication you would have um, for this. It does have a heparin bonding on it. There's no increase in DVT. There's no increase in line sepsis from 
It's the same as any other triple lumen catheter.